I am a huge fan of vintage lenses. Um, it's only been the last year that I've been able to invest in, um, I'd say higher quality modern glass. But for the longest time, I relied heavily on vintage uh, lenses uh, from Canon or Nikon, mainly because of how cheap they are on eBay, but also because of how easy it is to adapt them to various camera systems. Now, I have a very video focused background, uh, you know, but I've been looking back at uh, some of the different phases that I've gone through, and I feel that I became a better photographer simply because of one lens in particular. And uh, that has to be this guy, the Nikon, the Nikkor AI 35mm f2 SLR lens. And I think it's, a, well, for a few reasons. For one, it being a prime lens, you have to move the camera and yourself to recompose uh, more so than you would have to with a zoom lens. Two, because it's fully manual, if I'm trying to track a moving subject, I have to be more engaged uh, while pulling focus with it. And three, uh, because I've been using it the most with this mirrorless camera, uh, I kind of got the best of both worlds where I got a full manual feel and control on, the, on it itself, but the electronic viewfinder allowed me to see what I was actually getting, which is something that I wouldn't have gotten with film. I would have had to uh, hope that I did everything correctly and get it printed. Uh, but yeah, so this, I feel like you know, once I got this combination, I started, I'd always had the tools available, but these in particular, uh, made photography more approachable for me. Uh, then I started taking a lot more stills, uh, mostly for myself, as a result of this combination. Uh, I got to the point where I started getting hired to do photo jobs. And that's awesome. And, you know, I feel like it's something that I did not seek out to do. I didn't put any thought into it. I was just dicking around. Um, and, yeah, I feel like I owe a lot of the style that I've developed that I'm known for but also my own comfort with these tools just to this little combination. And it just mainly comes down to ergonomics and ease of use, which are you know, things that I didn't always uh, prioritize while buying filmmaking equipment. It used to be very much about specs. And you know, some might say that you know, these Sony cameras are tiny and they have terrible ergonomics, but I, you know, I have like normal sized hands, uh, but I feel like because it's so small, my hands are closer together. So it became very instinctual to change different aspects on uh, different parameters on it. And, you know, that has led to me being able to produce photos that you know are more intimate and more casual at the same time. And so much so that it made me more confident to uh, go out and finally use a film camera. Now, this is just like a, a different lens on here as an example, but this is like a, just a cheapo Nikon film camera from the 90s. Uh, I threw in a few rolls of daylight. I used 35, the, the 35 millimeter F2 lens on it. And probably by the third roll, I'd finally hit my stride where I got more consistent results. And I think it mainly came down to me relearning how I used to shoot pictures uh, because I did treat film more preciously. And I feel like I only pointed the camera at people, places or things that I really cared about. And, you know, so kind of going back, it brought back that intimacy that I had years ago when I first started shooting pictures, is that I typically only pointed at people that I cared about. And because of the type of lens I was using, I had to be really up close to them. So they knew that I was taking a picture. They might pose, they might not, they might ignore me, but they knew. And that already there was an engagement. And that's probably why I've never really gravitated towards longer zoom lenses as a result, because I like that intimacy. And I think that's one of the characteristics that's defined my photography work more than anything else. Uh, people usually describe it as documentary style, but I think that's what the word they're really looking at is that you know I'm right there with the subject. So that's why even, even today where I have access to all this high-end equipment, I still love using this lens. Even on a GH5, it is a dream because not only do I get the, I get the viewfinder from the A6000, I now get in-body image stabilization. That is awesome to be able to use that on a stills lens. Uh, so I hope to get to use it more often once the weather gets nicer uh, or 
less discouraged to go out more. But yeah, uh, that's it for today. I don't know how many takes this has been to talk about a goddamn lens, but <laughs> here we are. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace.